hello guys uh, in this tutorial i uh, will discuss how we can use uh, true false uh, using our advanced custom fields so this is our website uh, demo website and here you can see uh, about us page and there are two sections one is for display me text and another is for display others text so we would like to use a true false um, option using our advanced custom field so how we can uh, display the text using true and false option so let's do that so this is our about us page and we are going to create advanced custom field true false option on our about about us page so in that case we need to go uh, to our advanced custom field options so this is our custom fields group and we are going to create uh, custom fields for about us page so just click on add new button okay so once you click on add new button you can see the add new field group name and it should be uh, for about us page right that's because we are going to do that for about us page so uh, put your field group uh, is uh, about us page okay and uh, just little scroll down and you can see the fields now we are going to add up fields so first fields should be for true false right so here the field type should be true and false okay so this is the true false and field name should be uh, content content display something like that content display okay and uh, the conditional logic should be empty page okay and presentation you can see uh, in the presentation tab okay so we can stylize our ui system uh, for true false right so always click on here you can see so this type of things we can um see on our about us page fields okay so that's it and again go to the general option so the field is for content display and the field types would be true slash false okay let's create another field for display text okay so it's for display text okay okay so this would be text so here you can see now we are going to display this text once you um, check your content display true and false if that is true then the display text would be appeared if it is false then it should be a hide right so how we can add our conditional logic in this text just click on conditional logic and you can see we need to enable this one just click on here and now you can see content display so this is our true false the fields level is content display so should be content display is content display okay <coughs> content display is um, value equals to checked if checked it means it's true it's true then the display text should be appeared if not then it should be hide right that's it then then just scroll down and we need to select our page um, where we are going to add this field so page would be about us page just click on page page and it's equals to about okay where we are going to add this and now save the changes and once you save the changes go to your about us page click on edit page and here you can see the custom fields options now you can see so once you click on yes you can see content display if yes then display text would be appear if no then it should be hide so this is something we are going to add okay, okay? so let's <coughs> add uh, this text as of now as because we are going to dynamic this one just copy display me so I'm just going to add over there and update. Now we are going to add our code into our about uh, template. So the template name is about us. So let's 
open your about us template there are two options you can edit your file once you can check from your wordpress dashboard area using wp plugin otherwise we can directly um, add our add your code into from your cpanel area otherwise you can connect filezilla to connect the server then you can edit so as of now i already connected our server uh, to this url and this is our filezilla you can see and uh, <coughs> you need to you need to go to our your the themes name so my themes name is wordpress child themes and here i already created folder for page templates where all all the templates are available so page templates i'm just going to create uh enter my page templates and here you can see about us dot php just need to edit so, okay so once you click on edit so it should be open your code something like this so here you can see this is my about us php file okay now we are going to add our custom code and we are going to um, dynamic this section right so this is now go to your um, custom page area and you need to select this one content display so this is the name just copy this one okay and here we need to add our custom fields like this php if get field then paste your name fields name then okay equals to equals to sorry this should be here equals to equals to true equals to equals to true then the display me will become sir right here you can see and as we are going to dynamic this text so we need to take the custom fields like name here this is for display text just copy this one copy go to your editor and delete this one and we will make this text dynamic the field something like this sorry something like this and paste over there and after that semicolon that's it else else you can display display others right if there is if, um, if that is false then display others will be displayed right so like this now our advanced custom field code has been ready right now just save these changes and once you save these changes you need to upload to the server you can see it's uploading now it's uploaded go to your browser and just reload this page now you can see only display me text available as because it's true right yeah content display is yes means true that that's why display me text is appear if i see if i do false like this then you can see refresh this one you can see display others text is appears as because it's running through else part right so this is something what for advanced custom period and else if that is false then whatever you would like to display you can so this is something we can easily use a uh, true false option using our advanced custom period that's it thank you